What's up? This is Trix from Sensitive Pictures. Today we're going to be learning how to make a 3D text or image, 3D text or object into the uh, 2D image. As you, as you can see on the background, you see I have Trix and on the road with an optical flare on the right and an optical flare on top left. And you can see an orb um, ahead of it. And we're not going to make all of it, but we're going to gonna make some of it and I'll show the basics so open cinema 4d and insert a background after that go to materials file new material double click it specula and uncheck go to color texture load image and get you the image it'll be in the description if you want to use the same one I'm using let me just find it see what I'm good tutorial right here it's gonna say this image is not document surpass press no and add it to the background as you can see this is how it looks alright so you wanna right click no you wanna double click material hit the background and find out what's the um I'll, I'll have it I'll tell you what to put so just hold on I just have to see what's the size for what's the file and, um, details 1600 by 1200 all right so just forget all that so go to here go to output with 1600 and the height is 1200 okay that's good alright so what you want to do is you can hold on to this and you see how the, the floor moves so you want to match it up with put out match it up with the road make sure it, it's exactly how the road goes this is good right here you see how it matches up with the roll go down a little Cause you gotta make the text look just like it. so you would you just want to make it as it go towards the end of the roll and that's how that's how your text is gonna be so first you wanna click here and oh, get a floor and change the coordinates to the x-axis to 11 and Z axis to 11. And you'll see that. Put the material to the floor. Change projection to frontal. Right click floor. Cinema 4D tags. Compositing. Uh, uncheck self shadowing. And check composite background. So when you render it out, it, it'll still look the same. You'll see the things on the side, but don't worry about that. So now you want to insert text mo graph text or mo text and you can make it bigger make it I make mine big so you can see it and I made it 160 on the height and the depth I'll have it about 500 500 Go to um, caps, change the caps to fillet caps, um, change the um, steps to about three, change the radius to about, about 10 or 12. Now I'm going to go back and change my text to ash. That's the text I use. Uh, it's a little too big. I'm going to change the height. So about 500 but in the middle caps change it you should already know how to do this so it shouldn't be that hard and when you render it out it'll look like it's a big text in the row it doesn't look really good so we're gonna fix that so you want to add a light bring it up 
what you wanna do, bring it up and try to bring it back without moving. I'm bring it to the side first, then bring it back. So you just get light on the text. Bring it to the middle and bring it up a little high. And go to light shadows, um, shadow map soft. Go to file. I made a um, reflection text, so I'll show you what to do. Um, you uncheck color. Go to reflection. Um, um, I'll start over. Make a new material. Um, uncheck color. Go to reflection. Click it. Go to um, Fresno. Click it twice. Make the white. Um, any color you want. I'm going to use blue today. Blue and black. Yeah, that's about good. And hit it and change it. Um, mix strength to about to about 75 and change reflection to about 80 so you put that on the text render it out you'll see the text look pretty good got the blue on there and let's see the reflection is too too much so I want to make the light and um, pull it a little bit up so you see that's good enough all right so you see the text is in the road <laughs> I still got it text but I'm gonna change it to tricks all right change it to tricks make it a little smaller don't need to be too big like it's all according to you how you how you want it to look so fix it up fix mines up for a little and render it out she looks pretty good so it's real good all right that's how you put the 3d image into the 2d uh, what you could do is you could add a um a sphere or something that you want put it in but i'm not going to do that let me show you another trick you put in a light and bring it up Go to general, visible light, change it to volumetric, and spread it out. And now you render it out, it give you a type. You can see how the text is a little blurry. You can change the color to change it to a, change it to an orange color, a little orange. So you render it out. You see how the orange is on the text and it seems like it's coming from the ground. Alright, and and that's basically pretty much it. Um, I'm going to show you how to render it perfectly. What you want to do is go to your render settings, keep everything the same, um, go to save, save as um, JPEG, alpha channel, save it where you want it to be saved, I'm going to put it on the desktop as tutorial and with options change the ray depth to 30 change reflection depth to 15 and the shadow depth to 30 and for a really good um detail uncheck blurriness and go to effect ambient occlusion and add Global illumination. And once that's done, just render the picture out. And that's that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe. I hope this got good for you. Peace.